Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for November. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is for the month of November but it may resonate now because the timing is fluid. So it could resonate now, it could resonate in November at any time or it could resonate in December or it could resonate in six months from now. Not only that, this reading may not be for you. Not every single reading that you watch is for you. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, so dear God, angel, spirits, and universe, what do we have for cancer for November or thereabouts? What do we have for cancer? Ooh, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or this could be you taking on this energy. Energy. This is somebody that is stubborn, ungrounded, um, lazy. This is somebody that has nothing to offer, not putting in any effort whatsoever. Okay. This is somebody that is insecure and unstable. Somebody that makes poor decisions. Um, doesn't have any get up and go. So, I don't know if you're dealing with this person or this is you taking on this energy. Uh, this is somebody that is just like, this person really isn't, well, they could be a financial mess. Somebody could be a financial mess. They don't have, they don't have anything to offer, any kind of security to offer, put it that way. Okay. Six of Wands reverse, no progress, no victory. You could be dealing with an earth sign that there is no victory here. Um, this is the six of wands reversed. Um, this person could have low self-esteem or low self-confidence. Definitely makes poor decisions. The two of pentacles reversed. This person could be really a financial mess. Now this can always go vice versa. This could be you or the person that you're dealing with. Somebody's a financial mess. There's chaos. There's it's like this is it's like there's no uh, oh, well, things are turned upside down. This person is doesn't is this person is lazy. You're dealing with somebody who's lazy, who makes poor decisions, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. This is financial chaos as well. Oh, we got two. Two of Cups reversed and the Page of Wands reversed. So somebody could be going through a breakup. They, they could be dealing with a partner, whether this is a love partner or a work partner or whatever it is. There's something, twos are partnerships. We have a partnership that is not compatible. Okay. Could be one of your employees, could be uh, somebody you work with or somebody that you are in a real relationship with. Okay. It's like this is no, not going to be successful. There's no progress being made. And there's somebody that is better suited. This is a better suitor. There's a, there's, this, is a, this is the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is somebody, this could be somebody bursting into your world that is much um, better suited for you. I just need a drink. But the Page of Wands is also uh, receiving news or a message, an exciting opportunity from somebody. This is an exciting new uh, path that is opening up. It's like you have a new opportunity to go someplace else with somebody that is better suited for you. But there is a partnership that is going nowhere that needs to be dropped first. There is some sort of partnership that needs to be dropped. It's just caused so much chaos and it's cost money as well. You're dealing with somebody who is uh, lackluster. You know what I mean? Boring. This person is boring. It's like they are, um, what is that word? What is that word? A dud. A dud. Um, and it's like you have an opportunity for a new relationship here. You want romance. It's like, hmm, six of cups, six of cups. Somebody could be, I mean, this is the past. 
reminiscing about the past. Somebody may, may have made a poor decision. Well, the Two of Pentacles reverse is a poor decision. And it has to do with the past. To let go of the past. To let go of somebody. They may have went looking for somebody else and that isn't successful. That didn't turn out to be successful. That partnership didn't turn out to be successful. They may, that's what this is. Somebody thought that they could find a better suitor. They thought this was going to be exciting. They thought this person was going to be better suited for them. And they come to find out this person is a freaking dud. Well, imagine that. Now we have somebody here that has been wounded and they're facing a challenge. We have some unhappiness here, sadness. I want, I want to have it all. We have somebody here that is dreaming and wishing for a relationship. They're wait, wish, wishing that uh, they would have made a relationship successful. They, they're wishing that. They didn't let go of a previous commitment. So we have somebody here that is wishing, they're thinking and dreaming about a previous uh, past commitment. And it's like now, now that relationship is gone. There's no relationship left. That relationship is no more because somebody chose a third party. Somebody... Uh, made a very poor decision to engage themselves with somebody that they it was an exciting this was an exciting endeavor right they saw an exciting uh, opportunity to uh, Oh, they were foolish. Somebody was foolish. Take a risk. Somebody took a risk. They foolishly took a risk and got themselves engaged in a situation that led to a partnership that uh, led to a partnership with somebody that presented. It, it was exciting in the beginning. It was. It was. It was very exciting in the beginning. It was like woo. I'm on cloud nine. This is very exciting. It was just like to tell everybody about it. I got this new relationship. I'm so happy. You know, somebody, you know, that's that honeymoon period. I think somebody got themselves into a relationship um, basically to heal when they weren't healed. The sun card reversed. Somebody wasn't healed. They're trying to heal their wounds, their previous wounds. And they got themselves into a very quick, spontaneous relationship it's like a rebound somebody got themselves into a rebound relationship and lost they lost the one they lost the one that they really wanted to be in a relationship with that's what i got here somebody engaged themselves with a person just to it's like mask the pain and it's like now they're dreaming and wishing that they could have that. They're dreaming and dreaming and wishing that they could have that past relationship back. But it's already been dropped. It's like it's been dropped. It's like it's, it's too late. It's too late. But there is an opportunity for a fresh start here. But then again, we have somebody here that has acted impulsively already. I mean, this person's impulsive actions has has. <laughs> Already caused them a lot of strife. There's been a lack of healing. There's been a lack of growth in a partnership because somebody, uh, it was rebound. Some, it was a rebound. Somebody engaged themselves into a rebound relationship before they were healed from the previous relationship. You know, they were, they acted impulsively. You, if when you do not take time to heal and you jump right and somebody did they jumped they jumped right into another partnership without healing stupid stupid i mean really stupid 
So we have somebody here that acted naive, acted recklessly, involved themselves with somebody else, and now they just want to go back. Anyhow, this is an opportunity for a new relationship. Therefore, this look, it looks to me as like somebody is making a move. This this is the Knight of Cups. That somebody is like they have loving feelings. They 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 are coming forward. They are about to um, come forward with some sort of offer. They're hoping and wishing that uh, this person will give them a chance that this person will work with them, but I don't know if they will. I think that, that we, whoever that they're headed towards, you know, they, it's like they want to go, this is this Knight of Cups, this, this Knight of Cups wants to go back to the past. This is the Six of Cups, okay? It's like we have somebody, who could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that wants to go back to the past. Is they're thinking about the past, they're dreaming about the past. Could be a Taurus, could be, um... Well, we have a lot of Earth energy here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Aries. We have uh, Leo. They may have gotten themselves involved with a Leo. Okay, this Leo is reversed. Anyway, this is unhappy. We have somebody here that is very, very unhappy and sad about an unsuccessful outcome in a partnership and they got into it because they were wounded this was a rebound they they took a leap it's like they jumped into a rebound partnership before they were even healed and now they can't stop dreaming and wishing that they could go back to the past all the while you know why would this person want to go back when they were involved in a third party situation when you're in love with somebody, you don't jump into another relationship and then just expect the person that you really love to forgive you. That's naive. Anyhow, we have, it's like now they're, it's like their, their prayers, it's like they're probably hoping and wishing, but it's like their prayers are not going to be answered with these threes reversed. I mean... When you don't uh, listen to your gut and you don't act with integrity, well, don't expect to get a reward from that. Anyway, I feel like we have somebody here that is about to, or they want to go back to the past. They want to go back to the past, but uh, I think it's too late. Three of Pentacles reverse. It's like there's there's no uh, uh, respect. There was a lack of respect. Now we have somebody here that is really, really, really sad and discontent that, you know, they've lost the opportunity and the one that they are with knows it. The one they are with, that they are with right now, the rebound knows, knows that the person that they are with, it's like the fool that is in love with the fool that's in love with me or you or something like that. It's by Leanne Womack, I believe. I'm the fool that's in love with you. I don't know what it is, but something like that. It's like this person knows that the person that they are with is still in love with the person from the past. So this person is really thinking about... Um, a lot to the point where the person that they are with is sad now too because they I mean see the third party situation we have somebody here that is really really upset with themselves it's like this is overwhelming it is and the person that is in the background the third party is just like no matter what I do you're never gonna love me because you're still in love with the past so I feel like this month What's going to happen this month? What is going to happen this month, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe for cancer? Let's clarify this Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups is somebody that is <coughs> wanting a relationship. And this is a dreaming, and this is dreaming. Dreaming about the past. But are they going to take any action? King of Swords, this is cold. This is somebody that is very cold-hearted. hard, uncaring, uh, having a hard time sleeping at night, depressed, having regrets, 
<clears throat> this person can't communicate. They're dreaming about it, but they can't communicate. They cannot. This person is, is, is cold as ice. Yeah, they're dreaming about the past, but, and, and they're having a hard time sleeping. It's like they don't even want to close their eyes because every time they close their eyes, they see the one that they love from the past. So we have somebody here that is very worried. It's, and, and, I, you know, I don't think worried is the right word. It's very discontent and sad. Very, very sad. Um, regretful as well. I think we have somebody here that is regretful. Even though this person is cold, um, this person just can't communicate. They can't communicate. They know that they caused the, the person that they love a lot of pain. They know that. This person was non-committal. The person that caused the pain that involved the third party was non-committal. The lovers. This is an unexpected opportunity for love, Cancer. So there is going to be an unexpected opportunity. This is a choice. You have a choice. You can choose to stay with this uh, rebound or you can choose to take action and go after the love of your life. This is a choice. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. This is a card of consequences. So then I feel like somebody has suffered some consequences. They have suffered a loss. And now they've turned really, really cold because they have suffered a loss because of their poor decisions to involve a third party to on the rebound just to heal from something that they weren't healed from. You gotta, you can't bring another person in to heal you. You gotta heal yourself. So anyway, I think we have somebody that took a leap. A leap. They t jumped into another relationship, and they are wishing that they want to have. We have regrets here. We have a lot of regrets. Now this person is cold as ice because there's consequences. Now the, the relationship that they really want doesn't want them. And the one that, and the one that wants them, they don't want them. You know what I mean? So it's a big freaking mess. Codependency will do that for you. Anyway, I feel like there is an opportunity for a past, uh, you know, a past uh, union. There is an opportunity for a past union to come back around if this person can communicate. But I'm not sure. Is this person going to communicate? Um, the world, there's an opportunity for a new beginning if somebody has learned their lesson. This is the end of a phase. It's the end of a cycle. This is a lesson learned this is a completion, a major completion that leads to a new beginning. So we do have a major completion here. It's the end. Oh, it's the end of suffering, the Ten of Swords. This is liberation. This is, this is closure. This is closure. And this is closure as well. So this is the end of a stressful situation. So somebody may be making a choice in the month of... This is making a choice. They have learned their lesson. This is a lesson learned. Breaking free. This is a card of liberation. Breaking free from mental conflict. Seeing the light coming out of the darkness. Five of Pentacles reversed. Somebody is about to... It's almost coming out... Go back to whoever they left behind. It's like, go back. Page of Cups with an offer of love. I feel as though we have somebody that is going to go back to the love of their life. And I don't know who the hell this is. Um, they want to anyway. 
There is a new offer of love here. There's a, a reconciliation of some sort. Page of Cups, that is a welcome message. This is an apology, perhaps. Somebody may be apologizing. They want a relationship. They want to reconcile. They want to come back. They've learned their lesson. I don't believe it. Ten of Wands. Somebody has changed. They have changed. The Ten of Wands reversed. This is somebody that has made a conscious change. And it's like they cannot hold on to this. Somebody is dropping the rebound. They're dropping the person that they, the partnership that they rebounded with. And it's like they don't want to, they, they just want to go back. That's what I see. That's what I see. Let's get one of these, Cancer. What do we got for you, Cancer, in November? I think that they're, that we have somebody here that is wanting to start over they're wanting to start with a clean slate with somebody from their past and they're probably going to come forth with an offer of love somebody is coming with an offer they're coming with a genuine offer of love they're probably going to say that they changed and they probably have changed well, i don't know i don't know about that but um i have a hard time believing that Somebody's made some poor, poor, poor decisions. It's hard to trust. And this is great. Pers this is lack of trust as well. Distrust. I think that we have you. Somebody's going to come forward and they're going to say that they've changed. And you're going to be like, what? I don't believe you. Whether it's you or the, or, the, or the cross watcher. Cancer, it could be you that's extending an offer of love. Somebody is extending an offer of love. And it's like they want a new beginning and they want a clean slate. They want to start over and they're willing to do just about anything to, you know, be given a chance. But I feel like when the person gets presented this offer, the other person, the person from the past gets presented this offer, they might, they might be like, No, I, I don't. I don't trust you. You abandoned me. You left me behind. You caused me so much despair. You caused me so much worry. You hurt me so bad. You stabbed me so badly. You left me for dead. You didn't even care. You involved a third party. Why would you do that? Why would you move that person into your house? Why would you do that? Why would you pretend that you are happy with this person? Why would you do that? That's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. Three of Swords. So, I mean, that's just, it's wrong. It's wrong. So I feel like we have somebody here that is going to come forth and they're going to want to start over. They may apologize. Um, I don't know who this reading is for. Remember, if you're dealing with a narcissist, then you don't, then this reading is not for you because a narcissist do not apologize. Trust. Oh. <clears throat> well, that's a good one trust while your logical mind is dictating a supposed a supposedly clear direction your soul's inner guidance is sing is urging you to follow an alternative path the logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more and we do have somebody here that is missing out and they know it they know it. It's like they, they chose a dud to replace the one. Let's get one of these for cancer. The world. We have the world here as two. This is a major completion. This is a new chapter that is about to start. Somebody has learned a major life lesson. So we have a major new beginning here, Cancer. 
you're going to be starting over. You may be traveling. You may be moving to a new part of the world. You could be coming together with somebody. If this is a new relationship, this could be somebody that lives in a different part of the world that you are coming together with. There is an offer of love coming in, whether you are offering it or somebody is offering it to you. There's an opportunity for a relationship here. But I think it is with somebody from your past, the Six of Cups. But before you can get into that relationship, there is absolutely, positively, no matter what, something that needs to be dropped. 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 And you may want to start over with somebody and, and just drop everything. Just drop all the baggage and start from zero. Start from a clean slate. Let's just start over like none of that even happened. Good luck. So I feel like there's an opportunity for a fresh new beginning here. Whether it's with somebody from your past or somebody brand new. Somebody is going to be uh, starting a relationship with somebody that they are very familiar with. Somebody is going to be receiving messages of love. And this is an opportunity for a major new beginning. Good luck. 